So today's tutorial is all about using basic formulas in LibreOffice Calc. So all I've done is open up a new workbook and over here in column A, I've just entered some random figures. And I'm just going to quickly run through addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So the first thing I'm going to do is click where I actually want my answer. And in this case, I want to add up the two figures above it. So I've clicked into cell A4 and I want to add up the figures in A2 and A3. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to start off by showing you something that sometimes people do wrong when trying to um, perform basic calculations using any spreadsheet application. So all formulas start off with an equal sign. So I'll type my equal sign in. But occasionally people use actual values, actual figures. So here I'm typing in 24 plus 532. Whenever I press enter, I do get the right answer. But the main disadvantage of doing it like this is that if one of my figures changes, my answer doesn't change. My answer doesn't automatically update. So if you use values rather than cell references, you are making your own life far more difficult. So if I just undo that, I'm going to click into cell A4, type an equal sign. And this time I'm actually going to use the cell references. So I can either click on or type in A2, type in my plus sign. And then again, either click on or type in cell A3. Press enter and I get my answer. And because I've used these cell references, it means if any of my figures change, my answer will automatically update for me. Subtraction works in the same way. If I click into cell A9, which is where I want my answer, I start off with an equal sign. And again, I can either click on the cell reference or type it in. In this case, it's A7. Type in my minus sign using my keyboard and then again click on or type in the second cell reference. Press enter and I get my answer. And the same rules apply. If one of my figures changes, my answer will automatically update. For multiplication, I'm going to click here into cell A14. Type in my equal sign and then click on or type in my first cell reference. Now your multiplication sign on a UK keyboard, it's an asterisk. It's shift and number eight. And then again, I can click on or type in my second cell reference. Press enter and I get my answer. And again, if one of my figures changes, my answer will update. Division works in exactly the same way. Start off with an equal sign click on or type in my first cell reference. In this case, it's A17. Now your dividing sign is your forward slash in the bottom right hand corner of a UK keyboard. So that's how you divide cells. And then again, I can click on or type in my second cell reference and press enter. Now you'll notice what is displayed on the screen are the values, the answers. If I actually want to see my formulas, if I want to see them individually, I can click on a cell that contains a formula and I can see it up here in my formula bar um, or my input line. If I want to see them all on the screen at the same time though, I've got two options or at least two options that I know of. I can either click on my view menu across the top and then if you have a look, one of the options about halfway down is show formulas. If I click on show formula, you can see I now get the formulas showing on the screen instead of the values. This is kind of a toggle. You do it once to knock it on, do it again to knock it off. So if I go back and click on show formula again, I now get my answers. There is a keyboard shortcut if you like keyboard shortcuts. And actually, even if you don't like keyboard shortcuts, this is a really useful one. On your keyboard, if you hold down control, the key to the left of the number one underneath your escape key. This is the only time I ever use this key. It's for showing formulas either in Calc or Excel. Um, so if I hold down control and I tap that key, um, I tend to refer to it as the hangman key. It looks like it's got a little hangman symbol at the top of it. I don't know if any of you ever played hangman as a kid. Um, I did. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then my apologies. But control and the key to the left of the number one allows you to quickly toggle between showing your values and showing your formulas. So I hope that was some use to you. If you're going to calculate 
in LibreOffice Calc, you need to be aware of the order of calculations. And there are lots of ways to remember this. The one I was brought up using was um, the acronym we used was BODMAS. It's sometimes referred to as BIDMAS, but there are all sorts of acronyms. The one you know might be totally different, but the rule is exactly the same, no matter which acronym you follow. So what does BODMAS mean? What does it actually stand for? Well, BODMAS stands for, as I said, the order of calculations. What that means is CALC will do anything that is in brackets first. Order is the O. That stands for square roots or square numbers. If I'm brutally honest, I rarely use square roots or square numbers in my calculations, so I tend to be able to ignore that bit. Then CALC will do either division or multiplication reading from left to right. And then finally, it will do addition or subtraction, again, reading from left to right. And it's really important that you have an awareness of this rule um, because it might affect the answers that you get, as I will show you. OK, so I'm hoping to illustrate how BODMAS can have a massive impact on your answer when you're performing a calculation. So I've just entered some random figures here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a calculation here in cell C24. So I've just clicked into it. I'm going to type in my equal sign. I am going to grab the contents of cell A24 by clicking on it, type in a plus, click on cell A25. So I'm doing five plus two, and then I'm going to multiply that by A26. An awful lot of people would say, OK, 5 plus 2, that's 7. 7 multiplied by 3, I reckon that is 21. Whenever I press mm. Enter, though, I get the answer 11. And that is because the rule of BODMAS. If I look up here at my formula bar, so I can see my formula here, or I press Control and that hangman key, and I'll just widen my column. There you go. So. What we can see here is what CALC is doing, is it's doing the multiplication first. What it's doing is multiplying 2 by 3 to get 6, and then it's adding 5 to it. So that is BODMAS coming into play. If I actually wanted my answer of 21, what I can do is I can click up into my formula bar, and I can put brackets around my first part of my calculation, the A24 plus the A25. Because it's in brackets, Calc will calculate this part of it first. It will do 5 plus 2 and then multiply it by 3. So I should now get my answer of 21. So if I stop showing my formulas and jump back to showing my values, there you go. I've got my answer, 21.